Hey everybody, I wanted to show you my uh, my goat barn that I built out of, uh, again, trying to keep with the whole reclaimed uh, materials theme. Um, most of the materials here, I'll, I'll take you inside, are, uh, I built the walls, the inside walls, out of out of pallets, of course, as I build most things. So, uh, got them uh, stacked up high, two by fours again to, to keep the stability between the, the top and the bottom um, row of pallets. Um, so it's it's basically a, a square-ish, rectangular-ish box, and uh, with a roof on it. And uh, the only thing that's really not reclaimed are these two by fours for the rafters. I uh, I bought those so I could put the plywood up on the top, but um, everything else is pretty much reclaimed, either off of uh, Craigslist or pallets um, or free cycle. Um, I think I've got well, actually, with uh, bolting. The um, bolting the pallets together to uh, to give them some stability. I think I've got a uh, maybe forty bucks worth of bolts into this thing. Everything else is pretty much uh, reclaimed stuff. Um, the the goats. Uh, this is where they sleep. This is where they get out of the rain. They uh, they hate the rain. Here's their uh, their bale of uh, alfalfa that uh, is stacked up pretty high. They've got a little uh, salt lock salt uh, lick here because they. Uh, they like to lick the salt, so I'm going to flip that around. There we go. So they, they like, they enjoy that. Um, and then also I can uh, I can store a lot of my uh, my longer tools in here too, which is kind of cool. It's kind of, they're out of the way, they kind of, they stay dry-ish. I mean, the plywood is reclaimed. A guy on uh, Free Cycle was giving it away. And he was replacing his roof. And uh, was pulling up the plywood, sheathing underneath, and, and doing a room addition. And I uh, was giving away all this plywood, so I think I got 30 sheets or something of plywood on free cycle. So I just had to come and load it up. Um, looks like I need to fix that piece. Um, on the back side of the plywood, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a uh, roofing tar from where it was on the guy's roof. But uh, pretty much was able to uh, side the whole whole thing for uh, for nothing. Um, the back side is kind of pieced together because there's there's not full sheets. But uh, I figured on the back side it doesn't really matter. The wind comes from pretty much, and, and the weather pretty much comes from this side and, uh, and the front. So uh, I wanted to put the full sheets there. Um, over here on this side, again, more, more free plywood, but uh, here you can see I kind of piecemealed it, different sheets. And then I had a couple extra doors. Sometimes uh, this goat right here, Coco, she gets, uh, she gets kind of pushed out of, the, out of the barn by the other two. And uh, so she'll come over here and hide either just around the corner or sometimes under those doors if there's any weather to get out of there. But um, that's the, uh, the free goat barn. I do have some plastic on the top to keep uh, uh, the rain out to seal. The, because the plywood was old uh, roofing sheathing, it's got nail holes in it. And then again with uh, the plywood, uh, it's not being one continuous piece. There's gaps in it. So I did put the plastic over it to... Um, help keep out some of the weather and it does a pretty good job I mean you get a couple of spots where there's some drips but uh, for the most part they stay dry um, and shelter from the wind and the snow and all that stuff so um, I did have some field fencing that uh, I picked up on Craigslist so I built them a pen which again that's reclaimed that's old used field fencing the the posts the T posts were used um, somebody was getting rid of their fence so the only thing that's really new on the fencing is the gate the post uh, the concrete that holds that post and there's a, a concrete post over there as well in that corner. So that's their, uh, that's their little pen. So if we have people over or whatever, we need to do stuff in the yard, we can lock them up in, the, um, in their pen and, uh, and they're cool. So, but uh, that's, the, that's my goat barn. So uh, next up is a, a pallet shed, um, which has not even been started yet. I've got some pallets here in a pile that I'm uh, finishing up the, uh, the new coop, but um, I will uh, need to get more pallets to uh, to start the shed. So, thanks for watching.